Good afternoon. I'm, my office is now transitioned to my home. I'm reporting to you today from my, my workout facility at home, about seven miles away from the office. We have now spread out all our employees. We have everybody in the office except one or two working from home. And we're just here reporting today to let you know that while our lobby is closed, we're still here. We're still open for business. And we're still out in the field getting work done and committed to keeping the lights on. Especially now when we know so many of you are working at home and so many of you are wondering what's gonna happen next and need your internet, we're doing all we can to keep the lights on. So I've got a lot to talk to you about. I'm gonna apologize, I'm gonna have to look down a little bit so I don't miss anything, but social distancing, we're all doing that. You're doing it, we're doing it. Uh, what we'd ask of you if you see our linemen in the field, uh, it's we get people who wanna go up and talk to them. We just ask you to keep your distance because we're trying to keep them safe too as, as they go about their day-to-day -day work and get, uh, get stuff done for you so we can keep the lights on. Office employees, like I said, we're. We're still working. We haven't had any disruptions. Our, we're actually taking a few more calls than normal because our cash office is closed. That allows us to put one more person on the phones and we're seeing our, our uh, phone volumes remain high because so many people are concerned about what's gonna happen to their, their light bill. But we're answering those calls and our drop rates are better and our call volumes are better than they've, they've been. been with the extra employee doing that. And people ask, well, how, how did you get ready for this pandemic? And as you all know, we, we've been keeping your lights on during storms for years. And this, we're just considering this another storm. We've prepared to work from home in past storms, the, the wind storm of 2015, the winter storm of 2012, and, and even way back farther than that, we've been ready to work from home. We're just getting better at it now and we'll get better at it next week too. We're, we're learning new technology like Microsoft Teams and we're, we're, we're getting better at communicating remotely. Now, what about uh, financial hardship for Cherryland members? I guess that's, excuse me, that's, that's my phone. Uh, I should have put it on silent before, but I like to tell people that's my night job comes with a good car and a nice uniform. Uh, assisting members in financial hardship, getting back to something serious. Most of the calls we're getting right now is, what, what do I do? I can't pay my bill, I just got laid off, how am I gonna pay my bill? And a lot of these calls are coming from people who have good credit. And traditionally through the winter, we have uh, not disconnected people from November 15th to April 15th. This winter was the same. And uh, we've already decided to extend that moratorium to May 15th. So we'll be not be shutting anybody off through May 15th. And we'll, we'll see if we have to go longer, what happens after that. But I would continue to monitor the situation and we're keeping an eye on the state information as far as help from DHS and the, finance and the social services agencies. We're, we're providing help on a member by member basis. We're making arrangements. We're directing you to the proper agency for your situation. And uh, we're trying to stay up to date with that. Most of the state agencies are no longer offering in-person meetings. So you're gonna have to reach out online or via phone. They just, for obvious reasons, aren't taking any in-person meetings uh, like we all aren't. Energy efficiency tips. You can monitor your usage on, on uh, smart hub on your iphone uh, we can provide you some tips i think we're going to put some of those out on facebook or other places uh, you want to ma maximize your electricity use this is obvious uh, don't wash a half a load of clothes or a half a load of dishes uh, do full loads but if you have questions about how you can save money on your light bill call our office 486-9200 ask for tammy and we'll, if she's not there, she'll, she'll get back to you. And we can walk you through a lot of energy saving tips over the phone. What's the state government doing? They're extending uh, unemployment benefits. You've probably heard that. What could, what could they be doing? Uh, additional resources for utility assistance is what we've asked for. Uh, maybe lighten the requirements to qualify for utility assistance uh, to better serve those who are out of work. 
So we're, we're talking to the MPSC, our statewide organization is doing that, and we're trying to uncover every rock we can to try to free up some money for people who are going to need it whenever this gets over. Uh, we're in election season. You can run for our board. Uh, the board candidate stuff is in our magazine on our website. But uh, if you're a candidate who has com uh, completed a petition to run for the office, we need you to email it to Shannon and those details are on our website. And we have to make, adhere to our bylaws and we can't make an exception on the March 31 deadline. So if you've got a petition out there and you want to get it turned in, uh, do that sooner rather than later. Uh, we have other avenues to do that or we can meet you at the office, outside the office and, and take the application to the annual meeting. The annual meeting is scheduled for June 11. So far, we're adhering to that schedule and we're not canceling it, but we will contact you via email and postcard if those plans change. And again, uh, obviously our number one priority is your safety and the safety of our employees. So to wrap this up, we have a lot of contact options, phone, Facebook, uh, Smart Hub, text. Uh, we're gonna do another Facebook Live next Friday, March 27th, I'll, I'll be here, hopefully. I'll, I'll be, well, we know we're gonna be here because the school is shut down. I was gonna say, I hope I'd be back in my office, but that's not gonna happen next week. But just rest assured, we're gonna keep the lights on. Whatever the weather brings, whatever the virus brings, we're here to keep your lights on. That's what we do, that's what we've always done, that's what we're good at, and we're, we're gonna keep doing that. So we appreciate your patience, and we just want everybody to take a minute and, and thank the, who's ever helping you, whoever you've been able to help, first responders, EMTs, firemen, the people at the grocery store getting stressed out. Just be kind, be patient, and let's get through this all together. Thank you very much.